What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about how to tell if a guy actually likes you and how it's pretty simple. So if you follow me on Instagram, you're going to see the posts. I'm just kind of going to, I'm going to go over it more in detail here. So I apologize if things seem a little, a little uh, regurgitated, but I do think it's important because a lot of women, I truly believe, over complicate a man's intentions if a man really likes you or not and i think the reason there's two reasons why um this happens the first one is emotions she gets wrapped up in her own emotions she has this narrative in her head um and she wants to justify everything when in reality he's just not interested the second reason and i think this is more of the reason why women give a man multiple chances and she's confused on what's going on is because of mixed signals, right? But I always tell my clients that a mixed signal is a signal. It is a sign. Ladies, when you're talking to a guy and he's giving you mixed signals, what this basically means is, I, I guess we can start from the bottom and work our way up instead. It, like, for example, if he's not giving you consistency, if he's not consistently giving you the positive signals, right? So reaching out often, making the dates, texting you, um, being consistent with his actions, like he's not hot and cold, not all that stuff, right? If he's not consistent, he doesn't see you long term, right? Doesn't see you long term term okay sorry for the handwriting i'm just trying to write fast he doesn't see you long term it's simple as that because think of it like this ladies here's why i tell women all the time and they don't i don't know why people just don't comprehend this when you're talking to a guy and he wants to take you off the market the fastest point right the point a the point b okay on a b the fastest point is a straight line it's not playing these games. It's not pulling away. It's not doing this. It's not this shit. It's not these mixed signals to get you hooked because any smart man knows that to get a woman hooked, you have who wants the same thing as you and you both are happy, healthy, loving people who want the same thing in terms of a relationship, right? You're dating for the same reason. The easiest way to get there is a straight line. It's not to play games. It's to give each other validation. It's to communicate, all that stuff. So when you're talking to your guy right now, I want you to sit here and think about your guy and your situation. And there's a lot of up and downs. The up and downs are based on two things. Mixed signal, uh, what's, hold on. Convenience, okay? This ba is based on convenience and assets, meaning well, I guess assets, liabilities. And what I mean by this is he's hot when he wants your goodie bag, right? And he's cold when the context is building up or he's in his head, he's freaking out, or he doesn't want the goodie bag. And that is a clear sign that a guy doesn't want a relationship. Because if a guy wants a relationship, you're not going to get the up and down. You're going to get the straight across. You're going to get consistency because he sees everything as an asset. He sees hanging out with you as an asset. He sees getting to know you, the consistency as an asset because it gets him to the ultimate goal, which is, I would put relationship here, right? Relationship. Sorry, I know that's a relationship, but I promise it does, right? That's the ultimate goal, okay? So if a, if a guy's inconsistent, it's because he doesn't see you long-term. It's because he's basing the coming and going on what's convenient for him. I'm hot when I want something, I'm cold when I don't. And of course, um, he sees it as assets and liabilities. Oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling horny right now, so I'm gonna message her, or, or I, I'm going to see her this weekend, so I might as well play like a good boy and have a good time and then hook up with her at the end, but then pull away later. Like that's what happens, okay? Now the next thing is no dates. This is common sense, ladies. This is common sense. If you're not getting dates from a guy, meaning he's not the one planning them consistently, meaning at least one date a week, right? He doesn't want to see you. He doesn't, does not want to see I promise you that's, I know that's, a, that looks like a Z, but it's an S. I'm trying to write fast, okay? He doesn't want to see you. Ladies, 
it's, it's a risk. Let me, put, let me put it in fucking red here. Let me put it in red. I say this all the time, but women, women are like, why do you say the same thing over and over? Because you all keep making the same mistakes, so I'm going to keep on saying it until you all learn it, right? It is a risk. It is a risk right here for a man to keep you on the market if he wants a relationship with you. If he, tr- ladies, again, think about you and your guy. If you are talking to a guy and he is playing games, up and down, up and down, this bullshit, okay? And he's playing games and he's keeping you on the market and he's not asking you out, right? He's not asking you on dates, okay? If he's not taking you out consistently, it's a risk for him. Well, it's a risk if he wants a relationship. If he doesn't want a relationship, you get what I'm getting at? It's not a risk. He doesn't care. So that's how you know if a guy actually likes you. If I, the longer I keep you on the market and I play games, especially if you're a high value woman, which none of you show those actions, which by the way, if you're interested in my um, free guide, I have a free guide on, um, Absolutely free, 100% guide, download PDF, you get it instantly, links in the description on how to be a high value woman. These are actions you can take immediately that change the dynamics. Again, 100% free, link is down below. But if you're, if he sees you as a high value woman, right? High value women do not let men make a lot of mistakes. They, they, no one's perfect, so she knows the boundary. She knows, okay, he effed up, but he obviously didn't mean to, or he's sorry, or I can tell he actually likes me, like, uh, or he actually likes me. Yeah. So she, she lets the guy make some mistakes, right? But a man who is consistently not asking you out doesn't care about taking you off the market. Otherwise, he would be asking you out because by not, I know I'm beating a dead horse here, I apologize, but by not taking you out, right, other men, right, other men can come after you, which is a risk. But the fact that he's not doing it means he doesn't give a shit. Okay, I'm moving on from that one. I'm sorry. That was, I, was beat, I beat the shit out of that horse there. Okay, no texting means, it means, uh, doesn't, does not want, you already know, want to hear from you, okay? He doesn't want to hear from you. He doesn't want to hear from you. It goes right, this goes right back down to here, okay? If you have a guy who is not consistent, meaning he's not doing this and he's not doing this, it is a guy who does not care about a relationship. It's literally that easy, ladies. And if you want more detail on this, I, I have a guide. Now, this one's paid for, but I do think it's worth it because you get six guides. I have a guide on filtering men, and I have a guide on how to tell how much a guy actually likes you. Like like one to ten. Like how much and how serious this guy is about you. Read that guide. You'll know where you stand, okay? But I can promise you, if, he, if you're talking to a guy who's not consistent with any of these things... The answers are right here. He doesn't see you long term. He doesn't want to see you at all, really, or or it's based on convenience. Um, and he doesn't want to. Uh, he doesn't want to hear from you. He's taking you for granted. Okay, he's taking you for granted. So, ladies, please, if this sounds like your guy, if this sounds like your situation, ch- hey, step it up. High value women don't get in these situations. They cut that shit off immediately. The the, the example I always use is a negotiation. If you have the power in a negotiation, even if you want the outcome to work, right? If it's not fair to you, a powerful negotiator will walk away. Now, of course, it has to be win-win for both. A, a really good negotiator, it's win-win. It's not win-lose. They're not just going to take advantage of the other person um, like a lot of people think. A good negotiator is win-win. But they, even if they want the outcome, they're willing to walk away because it, 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 it's against their morals. It's against their values. What's happening here? It's a, a lack of respect. Why would you want, <laughs> ladies, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on my fucking rants here. I have so many clients. It's my biggest pet peeve. My biggest pet peeve of what I do is weak ass fucking women. Okay. It's weak ass women. You see all the signs, you know it. And it gets to the point where it's almost like you deserve, I hate to say it like that, but you deserve it because it's like, they'll come to me and we'll have multiple sessions. I'm like, well, what do you, what do you expect? Did you not listen to anything we talked about in our last session and the session before that? And you're surprised on what's going on now? Whatever. But if you want to get a session with me or my free guide down below, okay? Links are down below in the description. I'll put it in the comments too. Just click it 
and we can schedule something together. Ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.